Hello friends, this is a time of year when people love their fireplaces. Usually it's for warmth, but there are some people who like to put Yule logs on TV simply for the atmosphere. There are tons of these for Christmas, but not so much for Halloween. But thanks to the folks at Shudder, us Halloween fans don't have to feel left out of the Yule log season. Since the streaming service launched, we've gotten a total of 6 school logs. So now I'm going to review and compare these ghoul logs so you'll know which ones to play based on what you want from your ghoul log. Our first one is called Ghoul Log. It's one lone happy jack lantern placed on what I assume is the sidewalk. Whatever it is, this place is covered in fall leaves and we've got a breeze going on in the background. It presents itself as a cold autumn night. While it's mysterious, it's calm enough that you can relax to it. Not many surprises, just nice atmosphere. The first school log is a good one for Halloween fans looking for something to fall asleep to. Our first sequel is called Return of the Ghoul Log. Unlike the first one, this one is more on the scary side. We have a more mischievous looking jack-o-lantern placed as the centerpiece of what looks like a small Halloween store. There's a lot of visual Halloween charm to be found here with the skeleton, the skull, the books, and the orange lights. As for the sound, there's more creepy music here and occasionally you'll hear some kind of scream or evil laughter. Try as I might, I could not fall asleep to this one. So if you're looking for something spooky to have on in the background of a Halloween party, this school log is the best for that scenario. This third ghoul log is what I like to call the fan service ghoul log. It's called Ghoul Log Trick or Treat Samo Lantern. Like the first one, this video puts our jack lantern back outside and has the sounds of crickets and light wind to go with it. The jack lantern itself is the poster jack lantern representing the film. While it may appear calm at first, you see later that this video includes very low audio clips from the movie. Mostly the sounds of different events that happen, which unfortunately includes the infamous vomit scene. All in all, it's a more relaxed Halloween party atmosphere video. Our fourth video called Night of the Gulag is essentially a remake of the first one, but it's probably my favorite of the six. It's another happy jack lantern that is definitely on a front porch on Halloween night. Surrounding the pumpkin are Halloween lights and skeleton decorations on one side, with a candy bowl and a lit up door on the other side. The sound is a calm autumn breeze with occasional sounds of birds, including owls, and wind chimes. This is another ghoul log that's good for relaxing and maybe falling asleep, too. Now in the spirit of the season, we reach a very ghoul log Christmas. This is a lot like most Christmas Yule log videos, a roaring fire in a fireplace decked out for Christmas. Only this one includes a happy jack lantern with a Santa hat! This one is simple in its sound, but elaborate in its visuals. The only sounds you hear are that of the fire. And strange as it may seem, it does give you a warm feeling when paired with the indoor setting. The jack lantern with the Santa hat is a simple way to blend Halloween with Christmas, and it actually complements the Christmas decorations well. They even included stockings with names on them. I'm not sure where those names came from, could be people who actually worked on the video, but it's a nice detail that they added. This is a cool log that provides a great way to relax during the holidays. Last but not least, we have Shudder's most recent Gulag called Mad God Gulag, released just this year. Now, this one is an animated Gulag, very similar in style to The Nightmare Before Christmas. It shows this demented looking fireplace operated by these little Halloween minions. After 5 minutes, a pumpkin is lowered on top of the fireplace, and the minions get to work carving a face into it. At the 15 minute mark, the pumpkin is turned around and the face is revealed, but it doesn't stop there. Every 15 minutes, the pumpkin turns around again to show a different face with the last one being scarier than the other two. Finally, the pumpkin is taken away two minutes before the video ends. Throughout the video, there is also sounds of evil laughter, spooky music, and small sounds of the fire burning. This one is definitely more on the scary side, not great to relax to. But if you're a Nightmare Before Christmas fan looking to add atmosphere to your Halloween party, this video is good for that purpose. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other spooky Christmas time videos. Stay warm this winter, and goodbye friends!